because it's simply the enemy holding you back and trying to hold that over you. But I promise you, Christ has already forgiven you. What's up, Grow Community? My name's Austin, and you're watching the Grow Christian Ministries YouTube channel, where we strive to take people from where they are on their spiritual journey and give them the education, resources, and community to help them grow. In last week's video, we talked about the mindset needed to really propel yourself through your spiritual journey. We talked about being honest, open-minded, and willing. And if you missed that video, the link will be in the description below. I highly suggest you watch it before watching this video. Now, if you've watched that video and you were honest with yourself and you came to the conclusion that you are no good for God, I want you to know you're not alone. I felt the exact same way and I'm here to tell you that it's all in your head and no matter what you've done or what you feel like God can't use you for, I'm telling you, Christ has already forgiven you. But I understand the feeling and I know that me telling you through the YouTube platform is not gonna change your mind on it. So this week I'll keep the video short because I'm gonna challenge you this week. I challenge you to reach out to someone that you trust or you can reach out to me and talk to someone about the thing that is holding you back. Maybe it's a sin you've repeated over and over and over. Maybe it's that you just have not believed in God for so long that you think he's mad at you Whatever it is that's holding you back, I would love to talk to you and I know that other people would love to talk to you about it as well because it's simply the enemy holding you back and trying to hold that over you, but I promise you Christ has already forgiven you. I want to tell you a quick story from the Bible from the book of Acts. It's about a man named Saul. This man hunted down early Christians and murdered them. Later in the story, we find out that Christ forgives him and not only does he forgive him, he changes his name to Paul, and Paul goes on to be one of the most influential people in the Christian faith, and he goes on to write most of the New Testament. I mean, what a testimony. So, whatever it is, whatever you've been through, I promise you, God loves you, He's forgiven you, and He put this video in front of you because He wants you to talk to someone. I'd love to be that person. But if it needs to be someone else, please go and do it. I'm going to wrap up this video so that way you have time to go to your homework. Right now, right after this video, reach out to me, reach out to somebody. Don't wait right now. But if you want to reach out to me or just get involved, you can like our Facebook and Instagram page and you can subscribe to us on YouTube. All of the links will be in the description below. We actually just launched our Facebook group this week. So if you want to dive deeper and find a community online and give feedback on these videos, that's where you can do that. Link for that will also be in the description. But that's all I have for you this week. Until next time. Good.